Good Monday, the 4th of July to you. As we look at the sense of freedom that we have as Americans, as American citizens, and Christians living in the context of a democracy, I find it interesting that Paul writes to the church at Corinth, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 12. He says, you say, I'm allowed to do anything, but not everything is good for you. And even though I am allowed to do anything, I must not become a slave to anything. What Paul is saying to the church here is the Spirit gives you the freedom to make the choice with the leadership of God through the leadership of the Holy Spirit. But he says, as you use your freedom, use it wisely. Be wise in your decision-making and how you are using your freedom. What do you choose to do? Where you choose to go? What you would choose, how you to choose to spend your time, where you invest your life. You have the freedom to do that. Even the, the, the Christians in Rome, the church at Corinth, the church at Ephesus, at Philippi, all of these churches he wrote to in his epistles, all of them had certain freedoms, even in a restricted environment with Rome. But we Americans on the 4th of July are reminded that we have the sense of freedom to be and become, to develop, to create. And even in the essence of our constitutionality of to pursue and seek for the pursuit of happiness. Happiness is short-lived, but joy is everlasting and eternal. It can never be taken away from you. Happiness can. Happiness is on the surface where going to a ball game can make you happy. You can be happy to go there, but when your team loses, it makes you sad. So there's happiness and sadness rolled into one. It's like a coin, a silver dollar with a head and a tail. You cannot have love without disappointment. And where there's a great expectation, there's great disappointment and great hurt. You see, how we choose to use our life, our spirit, our energies, we have that freedom. But then one day there will be accountability when we stand before the Father. Listen to the scripture one other time. You say, I'm allowed to do anything. I have the freedom to pursue. But not everything is good for you. He caution, Paul cautions the church at Rome. And even though I'm not allowed to do, I'm, I says, although I am allowed to do anything, I must not become a slave to anything. He's saying, you may choose to use your energies in certain areas, but do not allow your activity, your avocation, your hobbies, your passions to own you. You own them. Happy Fourth of July to you. Use your freedom wisely. May you and your family celebrate the freedom God has given to you and through the Holy Spirit, but also the freedom that our country gives to all of us to celebrate this day. Pray with me. Father, we, we celebrate you because you are the author of freedom, of joy, and contentment. It is through your Holy Spirit that we're, we're called to be your children, your sons, your daughters, and we're called to serve you with a grateful heart. We say thank you for this freedom, the day that you've given to us, the country that you've blessed us in and with, and also, Father, for the Spirit of God, the kingdom of God that liberates us beyond earthly freedom. Amen. God bless you. I'll see you on Tuesday.